Welcome everybody, this is your boy Droid Matador and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBossV31, WeezGNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, Foxy and even Dirty. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the safe house reloaded mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod in some of my description below. Now this mod does require enable all interiors so make sure that you do download this mod as well. Next don't forget to download Nimmin UI and I will leave this in some of my description below as well. So let's get started. Once you have finished downloading all of your files go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location. Now before we do get started, really important, go to your skittlev.net.ini file, double click and make sure that you do change your reload key to insert. Once you have done that, save your file and then next go to your skits folder. If you do not have skits folder, simply right click and then create a new folder and now rename that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure that it's all lowercase. Now once you have done that, open up your scripts folder. Now we can get started. Firstly, open up your lemon UI extract folder. Then go to your shvdn2 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Go back to your extract folder, then go back to your main folder. This next step is optional, I always do this, but open up your shvdn3 folder and select all the files and drag it inside your skits folder. Now exit out of your extract folder. Next open up your eai extract folder, also known as enable all interiors, and then open up this folder. Then open up the skits folder. Now all you've got to do is select all the files except for the text file. And then drag it inside your skits folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your safe house reloader extract folder. Then go to this folder. Then go to the skits folder. Now all you got to do is select all the files and folders and then select the text file except for that one and now drag it inside your scripts folder. Now a pop-up will come up like this just replace your files then go back to your extract folder exit out of your extract folder go back to your Grand Theft Auto V scripts folder then go back to your main GTA V folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder, right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back and now we are here with Franklin so our game did not crash. But before I do get straight into the game and show you guys that it does work, now if you come into the game and now your game starts glitching, all you gotta do is just go run up the door and now your game won't glitch anymore okay. That's all okay, it's really easy. Now, before we do go and purchase our own safe house, 
really important go and open up your phone first go to your contacts go right down to the bottom now the first thing that you must do is go to enable all interiors now once you have done that go to change and interior now go right down to the bottom and now go to misc options now go to load mp maps and change that to true enable blips to true now this next step is optional i always do this but random color blips to true now go back to your main menu then go to refresh interiors wait for a few seconds now go back out now go back to your phone again but before you do go to the phone press insert on your keyboard now your game will freeze for only a few seconds just wait there you go to purchase a safe house you will need to go there so let's just go to a safe house okay let's go to a safe house this one over here so I will see you guys at the safe house now we are here at the location it's just like right down the road from Franklin's house okay so we are at the safe house and now all you got to do is come over here and I press E on your keyboard and I go to options and I purchase the house there you go now press E again and now you can go to options then now you can enter the house now as you can see I did not fall down the map okay so yeah it's pretty much like online you can do things online you can sit down you can smoke the bong and you can go downstairs but I'm not gonna go downstairs okay but everything works okay now you can come over here press E go to options go to house options now you can enter the garage now this is your garage over here you can save your vehicles if you want to and now you can exit the garage press E options house options exit garage and now you're outside now what you can do is that you can go over here press E options and now you can sell your house and now you get your money back right like that see so this mod does work 100% there's no errors so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod and I hope you guys do enjoy that mod that mod is an awesome mod but like always if you guys do get stuck in installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck in installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well so if you need fast help or support then i do have a discord server my discord server is inside my description below make sure that you do join the pc modding support server and then now just ping me inside my server so i can help you so with that said if you guys did enjoy this video then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching Peace, and I'm out.